I, I put this in the freezer to cool it down and it it like frosted up hello so we had a lot of cauliflower you what Oh, is it? Anyway, um, we had a lot of cauliflower, so um, I went ahead and just cooked it in a pan, and then I took it out and put it in this bowl. So I'm going to make some uh, cauliflower potato salad uh, right now, and then I'm going to show you the boxes that I've been wanting to open but haven't had time. It's, it's just been really busy around here. And with the sun shining in, I'm seeing more and more things to do. So we're just going to take this, okay, the cauliflower, which is, uh, it's done, but not mushy. Man, this is the way we make it. Okay. Mm. Tom and I are starting to like these foods a lot better than others. But we're hungry. I am. I'm hungry for potato salad. So I'm going to make it with this. And it's, um, well, let me put this in there. And then we're going to put a little mustard. Hi, Karen. How you doing? Is that a new one? Nope. It's open. And then I'm going to have to toss this really lightly. I'm going to put some of my homemade zucchini relish in it. And I've got a lot of it left zucchini relish that we make every year it's so good so we got a little pal there see I'm just going to gently you know try to toss that fold it You don't want your uh, cauliflower cooked like real mushy, but you still want to bite. I've been washing sheets and blankets and all kinds. I wished I had a line. I miss hanging all my sheets and blankets. For years I hung them on the line. They just got a certain smell to them when you lay on them. So I have, uh, I had some chicken thighs in the refrigerator I picked up from the store. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and cook them. And that way, if we want noodles with the broth or something like that. But today, we're, we've been kind of eating not a lot of meats and stuff. It's just so hot. But this is going to be really good, I know. It's just going to be good. Now, eggs. You want to add your eggs. I know they do, um, Karen. i done it for years. I was known as, when we lived in the old cabin up on the hill, I was known as the woman that had the longest, uh, the longest clothesline. I had three kids and a ringer washer, and I don't care if it was winter or summer or what. I had to bust ice in our 55-gallon drums to do laundry. 
and they went to school clean. And um, it, it's just, it was hard. But, you know, that was my favorite time was hanging up clothes on that line. There's all the way down our driveway. And you know, some of the littlest things used to make me so happy. Like when the wind blew and the sheets and blankets was blowing and uh, the kids' clothes just blowing in the wind. That kind of stuff, living in that little cabin made me happy. And then in the winter time, we heated with wood and coal, sometimes coal. And my favorite thing to do was go out and we had a little, like a table chair there outside, like a picnic type thing. And I'd go out and I would sit and I'd watch the smoke go out of the chimney. That was my favorite thing that made me happy. And seeing the old aluminum kettle, the tea kettle type thing on the stove, keeping the water hot and keeping it vaporized in there good. So, you know, it's not like that now. But you look back, you think it was so hard and everything, and it was. But there's ways you can get things done, you know. And um, that was one of the things that I loved doing. That's right, them towels. Now, when I moved down here, I, um, I used to hang all my towels and sheets on the line. But it got to where, with my legs, and I would go out there, if you hit a little gopher hole or something like that, it would just throw you off balance. So I just don't do it anymore, but I wished, I wished, I really do. You know, them was the days where it was hard and you learned. Hi, Laura. You learned that no matter what, you get up and you get things done and you do them the best you can. So I'm cutting this egg up, put in there. I think I'll put two eggs in. I'm going to save some to eat and have a salad. So, you know, there is some little bit of prep work in this stuff, but it's kind of fun when you got time. So here's the eggs. Two eggs. And we'll just mix them in there. You could put whatever you want in this. My mouth's watering. And if Bob gets on here, Bob, you've had my mouth watering over cherry preserves. I even stopped at the Amish and got um, a little jar of it, and I'll show you in a minute. I haven't opened it. I'm going to taste it online. Probably not as good as yours, I can tell you that. But my mouth's been watering. You have to drain this good because if you don't, you'll have water in the bottom. And I got just a tad bit, but I thought I drained it pretty good. Now, I've got some home canned carrots. I'm telling you what. Oh, hi, Bob. I'm going to taste that cherry preserves. And, and I wished I had a thing of yours so I could taste test them. But you had my wa mouth water, and I even when we ran around yesterday getting stuff, I said, "Let's stop at the Amish. I gotta have see if they got cherry preserves." And I didn't think they did. And um, that I finally found them. Okay, I'm gonna take some of my home canned carrots and just chop them up and put them in there. 
These are so delicious. I'm telling you. I will be canning more of these this year. My own canned carrots. Just put them like this. And start chopping. Chop them up and put them in there. So if you want to make potato salad and you don't have potatoes or you don't want all the starchy stuff, just make the cauliflower. My husband, he always likes to get it and put it on a, uh, just a plate with ranch and, and a tomato. Kind of like that. Chop that up a little bit better. I don't want no great big pieces in there. And I use these because I didn't feel like using the other carrots because these were open in my refrigerator. And I cleaned out my refrigerator today and tried to see what I needed to make. And the cauliflower was one of them because we had two heads of cauliflower. Took me... Oh, I know every bit of a half hour to get the cauliflower all, you know, off of the stem. and But I finally got it done. And then I had to get the sweeper and sweep up all them little pieces around me on the floor. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'll just take this cauliflower now. Or cauliflower. Put it here. And put the carrots in. And that's plenty of carrots. Plenty. Just fold it. You know. Howdy. Took my husband getting my haircut yesterday. I said I took you to get you a haircut yesterday. Went down to the lake. Now that's getting pretty. Now I am going to. Looks like it might need something. So I'm going to take a little bit I'm going to tell you the other night I made a chicken salad. I came in and sat in the chair and I was listening to uh, Shambach on TV. And I looked over, and Tom had the whole bowl of chicken salad, what was left. And he was sticking his fork down in it, eating it. And then I looked over, and he was stuck his fork in his mouth and put it back down in there. And I'm a, a city girl. <laughs> I am a city girl. I've been in this country for a long time, but I'm still, you don't eat something and then put it back down in there. You know, but I tried not to say nothing. But by golly, there's something just wrong with me. I just looked at him. I said, are you eating on the fork and putting it back down in the chicken salad? And he looked at me, and I know it aggravated him. But, you know, he is raised in the country, and they did that. And sometimes you just got to put your foot down. But I won't eat something. If I know somebody stuck it in their mouth like this and then put it back down in there, 
I won't eat it. Mmm. It's good, really good. But there's something it needs. Let me put a little more. Mmm. That's really good. Onion. Mmm. I'm not sure about onion. I love onion, but I'm not sure about wanting to put it in here. What's everybody think about onion? I do have like a sweet onion over here. You think that would do? So, really, I am not supposed to eat mayonnaise. It moves. Okay, we'll get this doctored up a little bit more. Now, I will put some onion in if y'all think I should. You know why I don't put onion in it, and that's crazy, because when you have potato salad and you put onions and mayonnaise together, if you take it out in the sun and leave it, it'll, it'll make you sick. And I always... Always knew that, and even though I don't take it out, I prob I don't put onion in it. That looks good. Let me see here. Hey, that's right. That's what's missing too is celery. Mm, I'll use my spoon. some celery Let me wash this onion off. All right. I'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Okay. Now. We'll do the celery and a little bit of onion. That's what I like about y'all. You help me. Okay. See, I would have plum forgot about that celery. It just wasn't tasting right. I'm going to wipe this off this side. Turn it around and use the side I haven't used. Okay. Let's see here. Onion, onion, onion. Here's the onion. I just cut a little piece off of it and washed it. We'll see.
I have my chopper. I should use it, you know. Why is it we have all kinds of stuff and we use it, but sometimes we just want to do it the way they did it, you know? The way we seen it done when we was little. I don't know how women got anything done. When back, I was talking the other day about this boy come over to Elijah's birthday party and his last name. He told me his last name and I said, well, I knew your great grandpa. And I said, we used to work in the dairy farm with him when I was real young and Tom and I was first married, didn't have kids, had a dog and, uh, and a cow. I had a cow. Tom bought me a cow, a baby cow to feed. And, um, Anyway, <laughs> I said, we used to paint, Tom would paint, and we used to just work on the farm, you know. And uh, we would go into their house for lunch. They would have us come in for lunch. And she had a big, long table. And on that table was, I was a city girl all the way. And I had never seen anything like that in my life. And Tom said, now sit down and eat. You know, be courteous and sit down and eat. And they had, like on each side of that table, there, there was people all around that table, and I was one of them. And their breakfasts was big like that. They'd have sausage gravy and biscuits and fried potatoes and all that stuff for morning. Of course, they went out and worked, you know. It's not like today. They went out and worked hard. But in in the at lunch is when I was there, and they had two big bowls of uh, mustard greens, one on each side. They had potatoes. They had chicken. I mean, homemade rolls. They put the rest of the biscuits out. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at them mustard greens, and Tom kind of put me in a position. He said, taste them. I did, you know, I tasted them, and, I, and the way she did them after that, I loved them. I still love them to this day. So here is a little bit of onion. How much of that I want to put in there just a little bit like you said Karen a little bit okay now I'll do a little bit of celery I just don't want to smoke that knife, that carrots. Now, if Naomi was here, she could taste this and I'd take a video of her. Them little videos I take her, <laughs> her eating. So I'll just cut this up small too. We use this knife here. This is a Paula Dean knife. A friend of mine from Kentucky bought it for me years ago. <clears throat> and I had a big one, but I don't know where the big one went. But I'd love to have a set of these again. Because they just, I use it for everything. It's my, you know how you have a go-to knife? This is my go-to knife. Who, Naomi? Yeah, we've been friends for years and years. 
We've never argued, Emily. I think one time she came over and I needed it. She said, you need to get out so you could look in and see what's going on. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I needed it. A good friend can tell you the truth. And she did. But we just been, we prayed the other day together. But we just been friends and I love to get her eating my food. She loves it. But I'll tell you a little secret about her. If you got a cracker, she'll come. She likes crackers. When we were in California, doing my, I was doing my sister's funeral. She, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and she'd be in front of the TV eating crackers and you can hear them crunch and you get up the next day and look and there is all over the place. She loves her crackers. There's that. Now I think that would maybe do it a little bit better here. Let me see. Is that much in there? The trick to this is letting it all marry in together. Now, I probably what I'll do when I eat mine is I will, um, whoops, I'll put it um, on a plate and put some tomato with it and eat it that way. I'll cut some tomato up. I don't want to put the tomato in it because it'll get real soggy. Okay, and I'll go to the other side. And we'll taste it again. Probably be full time I get done. Mmm. That did the trick. But I think it needs a little bit more mustard. Mmm. Mmm. Good. That mustard don't have any salt in it. No sodium, but it gives it a salty taste. So that's why I like to use mustard. Yes, it will taste better, Karen. So much better. Now, I broke a lot of that up just folding it. But that's okay, because it's going to be good, and Tom's going to love it. Now, here, let me taste it again. <laughs> what have I had? About half a cup of this? That did it. It's complete. Mm -mm. So, now I'm going to put the lid on this. This is a, a great, great thing for summer. And if you're hungry for potato salad, and you don't want to get in trouble. Now, see, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because we both love potato salad. And um, I can't quit eating it if I make potato salad with potatoes. Uh-huh. Wish you was here, uh, Karen. Hi, Fiona. I just made some cauliflower... Potato salad white. Now you can make it any way you want. But this is what I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and then I'm going to show you what my giveaway is going to be.
get my eggs put up. I don't want them to sit out. Okay. So. Pamela made a mess. Pamela made a mess. I'll be right back. I'm going to put this in the sink. I'll do them again. All right, now what do I have a mess on the floor, too? That's something else. How I can make a mess so much. Okay. If you guys want to see me now, I'll stand up. This is what I look like now. So far. The clothes are getting big. Okay. Now. This is for Bob. I don't know what I paid for this. A little tiny thing of cherry preserves. But. You had me wanting them so bad yesterday. So I'm just going to take a little taste in my little Nestle Quick Bunny Spoon. I'm feeling better, Fiona. Okay, here we go. Bob, I need a recipe how you make yours. I bet yours is a lot better. Um, we're not really on a diet, Maria. We just changed our way of eating. It's, it's just had to happen. We've both feeling yucky. Um, this is made with white grape juice, concentrate, cherries, water, pectin, and citric acid. That's what's in this cherry. Okay. So I'm sure you know Bob. Okay. I, I'm sure yours is better than this. I mean, this is good. But. There I tasted it. <laughs> I've never ever tasted cherry preserves. Never. Okay, now this is going to be a giveaway. I bought it. I thought it would be a nice little giveaway. It's a Christmas rolling pin. See? It's got little deer and Christmas trees. And anyone that's on this live now, I will put your names in and we'll draw it later. So this is just a little cute little, uh, yeah, I don't know why they use it either, Bob. I mean, why would you use grape juice? I think it would make it taste a lot different. But there it is. It's a little, never been opened. And when you make your cookies or whatever, you these little thing, deer and all this will come make little things on it. I mean, you could do it for just about anything. So anyway, yeah, it's really cool, Karen, and the ones on here today watching me, well, I'll be putting names in a, a thing. And that's what you'll get. 
I will send it out to you. Now, my boxes that I have gotten this week and past week, and I'll give you one more look at that giveaway that I'm doing. So nice, it's nice, built nice. I like to look for different things, you know, not the same old stuff. So that that's the giveaway. Okay, now, this is one thing I got this week, and I never really, I took it out to look at it while my friend was here, but I got this. As a gift. It's got a lid on it, and it's a hydro, it's a hydro, look at that, isn't that pretty? It's a cup, fits in my car, my e enclave. It says, surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? To my knees will I fall. Fall. Well, will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. And that's a, that's a song. So that's the song there. And then the cross here. It is pretty, isn't it? So I'll get it out and I will... Um, I'll use it. Probably put some hot tea or something in it. Or if I go away, I'll put some ice down in it and water. Okay, the next thing. Next box. Next. It's crazy because I'm getting rid of a lot of, a lot of stuff. I've been selling a lot of stuff. <laughs> Just my stuff from Tupperware and his stuff that he's had that he don't use. But this is really interesting. Take it out of the box here. It is fun for outdoor or indoor yard dice. It's yard dice. Have you ever seen that? I'll have to look at that movie. I don't think I've seen it. Uh, Rhonda, I don't think I've seen that movie. Anyway, it's yard dice. I haven't even opened it. Don't even know how to open it. Here we go. I want to see what's inside this yard dice. Oh, my goodness. There's a bag. Open it up. Aw. Look at these dice. I don't know about you, but I love smelling wood because my dad built houses. Hmm, this smells like the floors he put down. He taught me how to put the old wood floor down, but I forgot. So it's it's got a bag of dice. It's got two, four, two, four, six dice. And I imagine they're size nice little bag to put them in and with it I thought this would be nice to play over at my son's house when we go this would be a good game they got a good level yard and I've got a yard on the side so just good little thing to take that you don't normally play. And then we have, of course, these little things. They always send the little dry eraser. It's called, now one of them is Yardcool. 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 <laughs> Never played it before. And the other one is Yardzy. Like Yahtzee or Yardzee. So you can write on this board. I'll have to get a couple more of these because 
Look at how that is. So you just you can write on this. And then erase it. So that's a nice little game to throw in the back of the car if you want to go do something, play games. So what I'll do is I will put everything in this bag. And then try to figure out how to play it. I might go on uh, YouTube. I find everything on YouTube. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's their card. Okay. I'll keep that in there. So there's that. Isn't that cute? Yardcole or Yard Z? So anyway, stick it down that box so I'm ready to do something with it. Which I am interested in playing this, really. I love playing um, horseshoes. Now, when I went to my son's house over in uh, the Plains, he has a big um, dartboard. And I played with Braden, my grandson. And I done pretty good after, you know, never playing darts. And I done, I, I, at first they was hitting everywhere else. But then I started getting my move, you know. You got to get your move on them darts. And I wasn't moving, you know. And I'm left-handed, so I was using right-handed. Now, looky here. This is, um, goes to this big thing I got as a gift. It's a pie lifter, okay? You lift your little pies out of your pie maker. So what does that tell you? I, this is heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got, there, a Breville pie maker. And it's a heavy little booger, but I've already got the filling and everything. I'm going to make some pies in this thing. I had to go online to see how to do it and do it right. So this came from Hannah. I said, you sure you don't want something for that? I looked them up. I said, them are expensive. She said, nope, yours. So I'm going to make some little pies in this. Okay, and it's interesting. What's down at the bottom? Oh, there's another one of these, but it's broke off. That's probably why they got another one. But anyway, you could still lift that down in there. I'm not throwing that away. Okay, so you take Oh my goodness, it's a heavy little booger. Here's your pies. Can't wait to make them. And I'm just going to try the already made pie crust to start out because I'm not sure what I get will get myself into. And uh, make I'm going to make cherry pies and apple pies, and I'm going to make my husband the big a uh, big custard pie. Pie. I feel so sorry for that man. I feed him and he eats well every day. But how long has he asked for custard pie? And I haven't done it. It just takes a lot of the oven and it's hot. Um, but anyway, I'll make him a big nine inch deep pan uh, custard pie. But with this, when I, what I've seen online, you just put your this here and i will do this online when i make them because i'm excited to make pies because it only takes about eight minutes and it's not in the oven so now these is interesting you don't want to lose these 
because it's it's just so interesting. Okay, so this is your bottom. You cut your bottom, and then you put it in here, and then this is your little push down thing. You just kind of real lightly push that down in there, and it pushes and forms that pie. So on this side, wait a minute, this is the big side that goes down in here, and this is the little side that you lay on top, okay? You cut out some, each pie you cut two different sizes out with this one thing, and then this just kind of pushes it down in there. Now, from what I see, I've seen people way over film on YouTube. One lady done them, and she said, um, I think it was a third cup. You don't want to put too much in because then I'll overfill it. And it makes a beautiful little. Then you put this down. You, after you get your filling in that, in your top, you put that down. Eight minutes. You got your pies. So I can't wait to do it so we can open them up, look at them, take them out, and all that. But that's it. That's the other thing that I received this week. And you know how I am. I love to play with my toys. I thought this was a blessing because I never even thought. I, this is one gadget I really didn't know they had. And I usually know all the gadgets. I didn't know. I knew they had little tiny pie makers. But this is just the right size because it's, it's supposed to be a serving. So if Tom wants a pie and I want a pie, we got a pie. So anyway, that's good. That was exciting. Yeah, I've got the stuff to make it. I've already got it, wanting to do it. I had to go a lot of places yesterday, and I couldn't get to it. I wanted to share this with you guys first, because before I use it, let you know what you, we're probably going to be getting into here. Now, Pam, how come you can't we get that back down in there? There we go. So we'll be using this. And I think what I'm going to do is leave it out of the box now. Because now that I got it out, I don't want to put it back in the box. I want to play with it. So I'm going to put this over here. Oh my goodness, that's a heavy little thing now. I'll sit on the end of this table and do like I did my induction cooker. Okay, so we'll put that there until I can get it in there. And here's the book. Reveal book. This is a very good brand. That's what tickles me. It's such a good brand. And it tells you all about everything in it, you know. So I'll be reading this too. All right. So now we got this, and we got this. I'm going to put this over in my utensil thing. And I got rid of a lot of utensils. Three things of them. I'm narrowing things down. But the problem is, when I go somewhere and see something, then I think, I need to get that. But I'm really, really making myself listen to myself. So this was broke, but that's probably why this new one's in there. But I will still use this. So now that's about it for now. Um, so we made the cauliflower salad. And I'm going to go through the names here in a little bit. Because I'm just chilling out until I get my, I'll get my mess cleaned up first. Um, I'll go through the names and... Whoever was on here will go in there. Because that's the way I do it. Because when I started doing this, everybody, I, people I didn't know, never seen again, was putting their names in. And I, me and Tom talked about it. I said, that's not fair to my viewers. You know, if you're only getting on there for that, then I don't know who you are. But I know, I pretty well know now who the viewers are that comes on. And I appreciate every one of you every one of you and um, god bless you uh, like and share this if you will 
and I'll put it over on uh, Pammy's per Pantry Perfections. And uh, I love y'all. I hope you have a good day, and Fiona, I hope you get some rest tonight. That's okay, Christina. I know you get on here. So thank you, and God bless you all. Oops. I did.